We choose to go to the moon. so excited that you're here so Sandy and I got to this park really really early because we really wanted to take advantage of the bus tour and here is where they have the spaceships that didn't make it into outer space because NASA switched missions but nevertheless you are going to also get to see the location where the families and everyone who wants to see takeoffs gather I don't know if you guys knew this, but you have to be very, very far away from where the rocket actually takes off because the sound at a certain distance can kill you and even the heat from the fire can actually kill you as well from a certain distance. When you walk in, they are going to give you a presentation so that you can have an idea of what you are going to see. This board that you're looking at is real. This was the one that was used for the Apollo mission. Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's video. I am so excited you're here and I am actually at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral in Florida. In case you haven't been able to tell, that is a spaceship right there. I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of what you can expect and you are just going to be fascinated by these rockets. These are the ones I told you about that NASA created for a space mission, but then they switched missions and they have them on the gallery for everyone to see. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. A short time later, history is made again. With these first steps, mankind stood on the highest ground, and we saw our planet as our home port in the endless ocean of space. This behind me is a spacesuit from the Apollo program. And one of the reasons this is so awesome is because it is actually covered with real moon dust. This is not the real lunar module. The real one is in a museum in New York. But at this point, Sandy and I were starving, so we went and had some pizza. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo.
This is the Moon Tree Garden. These trees actually represent a crude Apollo mission and are descendants of the original moon trees grown with seeds astronaut Sua Rusa carried to the moon on Apollo 14. So this is actually so cool. Behind me is the Atlantis. This spaceship actually went out into space. And what's amazing about it was the presentation that they gave. They showed us that when they initially had the idea, they needed a spaceship that was able to um, be reused, something like SpaceX today. So imagine back then, they didn't have the technology that they have nowadays. So if you come to the Kennedy Space Center, you have to see this because it is just amazing. In person, this is incredible. I highly recommend for you guys to come. Hello everyone, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't get on the Space Shuttle Launch Experience Simulator. I'm actually not a fan of adrenaline whatsoever. I don't like it at all, um, but Sammy does, so he will get on. Um, and I, they have this little room where you can actually watch, and I'm gonna let him have fun in there because I'm not, I'm not gonna experience that. Um, but nevertheless, if you love adrenaline, then you're more than welcome to come. Hello everyone, so I'm now inside Journey to Mars, where they have the rovers that have made it to the red planet, and it gives you an insight of what is going on in Mars now that the missions there have launched. So if you've been following those missions on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever, I post a lot about them on my stories then a lot of these rovers are going to look very familiar. This is the Mars mission. If you've been following it on TV, then you would recognize these 
robots that are on the red planet. These are the exact replicas and they are humongous in person. Even the helicopter is here.